Libra, welcome to your tarot reading for March 2024. We begin with the King of Swords in the past position. This suggests that you've been recently guided by your intellect and logic and using a sharp mind. You may have made decisions based on reason and rationality, and you are possibly displaying leadership qualities akin to this King of Swords. This card indicates a period where you may have had control over your thoughts and actions, possibly asserting authority or expertise in a certain area of your life. This can also represent a person embodying these qualities other than yourself. This could be a male identifying figure that is potentially an air sign or just someone who embodies those qualities of clear thinking, rationality, and, and leadership. There may have been someone in your recent past who was quite important to you, if this isn't you. In the present position, we have the tower card. So this appearing in the present position indicates a significant and abrupt change or upheaval occurring in your life right now, this month. This change may feel sudden and disruptive, it may feel like it's shaking the very foundations of your beliefs or your circumstances. And while it's initially unsettling, the tower always brings with it the opportunity for, for liberation and enlightenment. It signifies the breaking down of old structures to make way for new and more authentic beginnings. So while it does bring quite a disruptive energy into our life when, when these tower moments happen, it's always for a reason. It's always because we've been building on something that doesn't have a solid foundation or isn't serving us any longer. That's when the tower comes in and says, hey, we, we need to shake things up here. We need to make some pretty drastic changes because we're not on the right path. The tower, again, disruptive as it may seem, eventually puts us on the right path because it brings an end to something that wasn't meant for us. In the position of the challenges you might face this month, we have the High Priestess. This suggests that you may struggle with accessing your intuition or your inner wisdom during this time of upheaval. And you might find it difficult to trust your instincts or navigate the unknown terrain ahead of you. And, and the tower does that to us sometimes. It can be quite disconcerting and it can be, it can really cloud our thoughts while we're kind of dealing with the, the fallout of whatever that moment is. Um, so the challenge here lies in, in finding balance between logic and intuition. The High Priestess urges you to delve deeper into your subconscious and listen to the whispers of your inner voice amidst the chaos. So I think there's something happening for you this month that really is demanding you to look deeper within yourself to say, why, why did this happen? What was this wrong path that I was on? Why was I on that path? And really tap into your intuition to help you understand how things got to this point where things really, really did need to change and, and balance that intuition with logic, with some of this King of Swords energy. That's really going to be of benefit to you this month. Spend some time accessing your subconscious, listening to that inner voice, and then tap into that King of Swords energy of rationality and clear thinking about how to apply what you've learned from accessing your inner wisdom. In the position of opportunities that await you this month is the Judgment card. So it's indicating that amidst the upheaval this month, there lies an opportunity for profound spiritual awakening and renewal. This card signifies a call to self-reflection, forgiveness, and embracing your true calling. You have the chance to rise above past mistakes or regrets and make decisions that align with your higher purpose. It's a time for embracing transformation and embracing a new phase of your journey with clarity and purpose. And I'm definitely getting that whatever this change or upheaval is, has something to do with perhaps you not being on the path of your, your highest purpose. The tower's coming in saying, yeah, again, we're not on the right path here. 
the opportunities built into this tower moment is about really embracing your true calling in life and aligning yourself with a path that is going to be much better for you, more fulfilling, more in alignment with your true self. And it's going to give you a chance to start moving forward in life with a lot more, again, clarity and purpose. In the position of advice for the coming month, March, is the Ace of Wands. This is urging you to harness the creative and passionate energy available to you. This card represents new beginnings and inspiration and a lot of potential. It's suggesting that you seize the opportunities presented to you this month with a lot of enthusiasm and confidence and use your creative spark to ignite new projects or pursuits that align with your passions and ambitions. Really trust in your instincts and take bold actions this month to manifest your desires. So overall, this reading is suggesting that while you may be facing unexpected challenges and upheavals, there are profound opportunities here for growth, renewal, and self-discovery. So trust in your inner wisdom, tap into your inner knowing, your subconscious, embrace this change with courage, and channel your creative energies to navigate the coming month. Tapping into those creative energies is what's going to give you resilience and allow you to go after your true purpose. Your moonology this card this month is the south node and it says don't let your past hold you back. So this card when it comes up it's saying whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about there's a chance that age old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, and it might even be you, needs to be released. And there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. So this card is really asking us to release the past. And it very much <laughs> makes sense with the rest of the cards in this reading. There is a big change happening and it feels very much like a karmic change. There's something being released this month that wasn't good for you, that isn't good for you, that was holding you back in some way. And I think that's why that tower moment is coming in. There was perhaps a change that you knew you needed to make, that you've been resisting. Some external circumstance is going to come in this month and say, you didn't act on this. Well, I'm going to act on it for you. We need to change this, whatever it is. We need to release something from our past that isn't good for us any longer, that isn't aligned with our, our true purpose. And your bottom row of cards here is really profound. I, I very much see you really struggling to understand this change and why it's happened and, and feeling quite confused as you begin this process of trying to figure this out. But the high priestess saying is saying, let's tap into our intuition, but also use some clear thinking about how to move forward with what we've learned here. And there really is an opportunity for you to start anew. This is a second chance card. This is an awakening to the truth, to our true calling, to a higher purpose. So whatever this was, it was blocking you from attending to your higher purpose. And this month, you're really being asked to let go of your past. It's time. It's finally time to let go of those things that you know on some level are, are holding you back in some way. Tap into your creative energies. Understand the, the potential that you hold now that you've gone through this. The slate is clean. The, the canvas is blank. It's up to you to really seize this passionate energy that's available to you now because of this ending and, and surge forward and really chase after your, your passions and ambitions now with a lot of confidence and 
enthusiasm. And this is a month to start taking bold actions towards what you truly desire, what really reflects your inner calling and your inner knowing and your feeling of being aligned with your true purpose. Pretty powerful energy operating for you this month, Libra. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.